lead up to the referendum in Greece this week, polling showed a tight result was likely. However, the no vote won in a landslide. Why did the Greeks trust Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras on this matter, in spite of a possible withdrawal from the Eurozone? And what impact will this have on the integrity of the European Union in general? Rossi Das, let's start with you. You've only just come back from Greece, as a matter of fact. Yes, last, last Wednesday. Well, uh, there is only one word for this, and that's Greek, of course. It's drama. More drama and drama <laughs> again and again. We've, it's a, very, a, it's a, a country and a society that thrives on dramatic juxtapositions and contrasts. And close to drama, there's comedy and tragedy, as you know, parts of the drama. You know, just, it depends where you start from. Uh, I believe that that happened because uh, um, Tsipras, the Syriza government, wanted to win the emotional aspect of this uh, referendum. They wanted to show, give a powerful message to the Europeans that we have suffered enough. We have uh, uh, had enough of this austerity, which hasn't essentially delivered anything that promised in the, in the beginning that's going to take place after five years. And actually, the people have become uh, poorer. They have lost a sense of dignity. They have lost a sense of pride that they used to have until now. So people said enough is enough. So it was a political issue mixed with a lot of populism, mixed a lot of emotions, mixed a lot with uh, real issues as well. And that's why the no vote, the OHI, we must not forget the word OHI, which has such emotional investment by the people because that was the word that the Greeks used during the Second World War against the uh, Axis powers, Italy and Germany. So it has become a, uh, it became a, a powerful tool to win this uh, referendum. That's true, but you were um, <laughs> profoundly against the no vote. Tell us why. Oh, not profoundly, not profoundly, mildly. Mildly? Mildly, <laughs> mildly. yeah, mildly. It's very good. I you know, misread just... your blog. Probably, yeah, 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 probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, mildly against, but because, you know, it's 50 50 always. The problem with this, with both sides of the re a referendum, is that both of them had 90, were 90% 90 right. And both of them were 10% wrong. And that part that they were wrong could have become the common ground that they will come together, discuss the problems, find a commonly accepted proposal for the referendum and for the Europeans to the, towards the European uh, institutions, which happens only today. Mm. Well, the Prime Minister Tsipras says the no vote doesn't mean there'll be a rupture with Europe. Do you think he's right? I think so. It's impossible for the rupture to take place. That will rupture not simply the relations between Greece and the European Union, but they will have a, a I would say, in the long run, a domino effect amongst the European uh, Union member states. Because there are many problems, the way that the European Union was established in the first place, and now with the Greek case, that came to the fore, became very pronounced, and became some, in some way the uh, uh, flag for a new uh, orientation within the European Union. From my perception, the victory of no in this uh, referendum was the victory of politics over economics. Mm.